This is a new lecture series on computer networks and we are going to learn about the OSI model and the TCP IP protocol suite. Okay. So what will be the objective here is upon completion you will be able to understand the architecture of the OSI model from this lecture. Okay. So let's see what is the OSI model and understand the layers of the OSI model and their function okay so a osi layer consists of many fun layers and we will look at their functions so the topics that we will discuss are the layered architecture okay so osi model of networking is layered architecture and it has peer to peer processes and encapsulation so we will look at all of these three words so what is layered architecture which means we for having two computers communicate there is a layered architecture so different layers are there that provide services to the layer above okay and then you will see that first layer is called the physical layer okay so here you have the physical wires cables or the wireless medium which transmits your data then we have the data link layer where you have whatever is your medium so it will decide so it is decided basically if two people or let's say three people are sharing a common device okay four computers are sharing the ethernet so how will they use this shared ethernet LAN okay so this will be discussed in the data link layer then you have the network layer that if you have internet a huge network then how to computers communicate so they use IP addresses if you have heard about them then we have the transport layer so where if two applications let's say our chat client is running so how that process interact with each other okay and then we have the session layer which handles the session like starting of the session ending of transmission and controlling the session we are the presentation layer okay how you interact uh, how you write the data and the application layer okay so this is represented here like we have two devices and usually if they have to communicate so you have some intermediate routers through which the data passes okay so you don't directly because one computer is here and you might be accessing the google server so you cannot access directly so there are some routers in between and then what happens there is an application running okay so for example there is a ftp server here and you want to access that okay so application layer is a ftp client okay from where we try to access so there is application layer data that okay get some file from your google server or something like that ftp server so then what happens there is a presentation layer and application layer is the first one your presentation layer basically decides that how what will be the format of the data should we encrypt it so that it's not visible to attackers should we compress it and so on this is all about presentation then it goes to the session layer that okay it starts a session between the ftp client and the ftp server and then you have the transport layer okay so process ftp client is running here a process ftp server is running on device b so they have some port numbers on which they are running okay and then we have the network layer okay so this device has some ip address this device has some ip address so how they communicate next we have the data link layer so data link layer takes care of your hop by hop communication okay so that happens hop by hop by data link layer okay and then you have the physical layer so at level of wire or cable how the communication takes place so then we have the router so if a packet passes through it goes to the physical layer from physical layer now the routers have the three layers just three layers so they are the physical layer data link layer and 
द इंटरनेट नेटवर्क लेयर ओके सो डेटा लिंक लेयर इट पास थ्रू डेटा लिंक लेयर and then to the network layer like this and finally it reaches the destination so it reaches there and the wire and it's the physical layer it goes to the data link layer okay so how it happens so now we will see this is also an example of what we saw was first one is a layered architecture okay so this is the first one then we saw about encapsulation encapsulation decapsulation okay so we will look at all these now in detail so what happens is that this layered architecture means the application ftp client the person who is writing that code he does not need to care about in his application code he will not care about how to send the message through all these routers should he give the path and all so each of these layer will take the help of the layer below it for sending message okay so for example your transport layer it it does not care about how routing takes place okay because that is the work of your network layer so it will just have an interface in the network layer where, where it will say that okay send some packet okay to the device b which has ip address so and so and the port number so and so okay and then the packet will reach there it does not need to care about how routing is going to be done the network layer then depends upon the data link layer so data link layer is a provider of the service of how hop by hop the data goes on okay how this channel will be allocated to whom and so on that is done by data link layer and finally the physical layer here is the signal actually 01001 all these things will be happening okay so data comes like this and finally now it will be going something like this okay so you have the data comes here in as 01s bits then it goes to data link layer it goes as frames and from here what it does the network layer gets the packet it removes the header and sends it to the transport layer okay and then the transport layer sees that okay which process is there to which it has to give it goes to the session layer session layer sees that okay the session is going on then it goes to the presentation layer okay where it decides okay we had encrypted the data so we need to decrypt and so on and finally to the application ftp server which sees that okay i have to give this file so it will give okay so this is how data goes on and it looks like application layer is directly talking to the application layer so when someone is writing a code he will just write that okay give me this file and he does not need to care how routing is taking place how at the physical layer bits are going on if there is some error how are packets being retransmitted and so on this application layer does not need to care okay and the presentation layer talks with the presentation layer okay so this gives a virtual feeling that okay they are talking directly to each other so this is there and how encapsulation takes place so this one writes its data the application layer and it gives a header okay so what is in the header is kind of you make a mail okay so you have a write a postal mail and then you give a header that okay this is from so and so and i'm trying to send it to so and so in city xyz okay so this is there so header tells the data is the content header is something to tell to whom it is going to be sent to so now what happens your data is there this whole thing now becomes the data plus the header of application layer becomes the data of the presentation layer so whatever is there it becomes the data of the presentation layer and it adds its own header so similarly the session layer this data d6 and h6 header of the session layer becomes data of the session layer okay the presentation layer data and header becomes the data of the session layer then it becomes the data of the network layer 
it adds its own header okay so this h4 will tell that okay source so this is the transport layer okay so it adds source ip and it adds the source port then what happens so this basically now so it will add only the in fact it will add the source port okay so which process i am going to send on the other machine it will add and it will also say okay so which destination so, so the destination port number also it will specify next what happens is that this will be the network layer so now what will happen is it will add the source ip and it will also add the destination ip okay so this will be added then there will be some header and trailer are added for the data link layer okay so this is for some error control that okay if some bits are flipped so then it will be corrected by this and then there is header of the mac address of this particular machine is added okay and then the mac address of the next hop router and finally the bits are here they are transmitted in the medium okay and then it reaches the this computer routers are not shown here these bits are there now the physical layer is responsible for movement of individual bits from one hop node to the next so physical layer is just concerned with sending the individual bits okay so it does not care about the whole data only it's sending the individual bits in form of zero and ones then it goes to the data link layer here now what it will do it will use all those headers to know to where should it send the data to so here you have the mac address it will see the mac address and if it is this computer in the lan it will transfer to it the data link layer is responsible for moving frames from one hop to the next hop okay and it is a 48 bit mac address then it goes from here it now goes to the network layer okay so which is the source ip address the destination ip address so it is found here then it goes to the network then it goes to the transport layer which process we should send the data to or the packet to and which is the port number and the network layer is responsible for the delivery of individual packets okay then what happens transport layer it finally goes to the transport layer to be sent to the particular process and then to the session layer presentation layer and finally to the application layer so this is there and then we just want to summarize the work of these physical layer to transmit bits over medium okay so its work is to transmit the bits over medium as signals okay so signals the many kinds of modulation techniques are there by which it transfers the data in form of electrical specification then data link layer to organize bits into frame so it tries to organize the bits into frame that okay so i have let's say 500 bits forms a frame and to provide hop by hop delivery so hop by hop in between there are a lot of routers so hop or by hop is done by this network layer it moves packets from source to the destination to provide internet working so here actually the routing takes place transport layer provides reliability process to process message delivery and error recovery okay so transport layer does like process to process like ftp client to ftp server you have smtp client to smtp server and so on okay and if there is some error some then it can handle that by sending the message again and so on and then session layer to establish manage and terminate sessions that okay uh, like in tcp first sin packet is sent but this is osi layer of course but basically if i start sending message to someone i will say that okay session has started session is continuing when data is being transmitted both ways also and then finally it ends okay session ends presentation layer is there for encryption compression of data for translation okay and application layer finally allows network access to network resources like ftp applications and so on okay so this is there for your osi layer okay in our next class we will see about the tcp ip model okay 
so this was about the osi layer and this is also quite important and we learned about what so three things that the encapsulation encapsulation means whatever was the data and header from above layer it became data for the lower layer okay like that and there was a layered architecture each layer provided some service to the upper one okay and the upper layer used the services of the lower one so this was there i hope you understand this so next lecture we will learn about the tcp ip model thanks a lot